six, but that day I sat around looking out my window at the bay. And when I saw him walk through my doorway, I knew why I waited. And, and if I seem to tell this like a dream, it was that way. Several moments arrived in the course of the two talks we had together when it occurred to me how transfixed I had come to feel. I had lost my strength somewhat. I looked in his eyes more than I listened. In fact, I can hardly remember the conversation, but what I will never forget is how dark the room became when he looked at me. His eyes were like tunnels. I kept wanting to call the police, but nothing had happened. Nothing at all had really happened. So in other words, he won't leave. My wife is talking about running the room upstairs for them. An old lady on the second floor has got a spare room. And what does Marco say? Marco, don't say much. I guess I didn't tell him, eh? What happened? I don't know. Marco don't say much. What does your wife say? Nobody's really talking in the house anymore. So what about that? It doesn't sound like you proved anything. It sounds like he just wants no, to try to bring you know, I know, Mr. Alfieri, he ain't right. Somebody that don't want it can break it. Even a mouse, huh? You take the teeniest mouse in your hands. That mouse will give you the right kind of fight didn't give me the right kind of fight, Mr. Alfieri, so I know he ain't right. What do you do that for, Just show her what he is, for once and for all. Her mother would turn in a break. She actually said she's gonna marry him. She said that, yeah, so, so what do I do? This is my last word, Eddie. Take it or leave it, that's your, that's your own choice. Morally and legally, you have no right. She's a free agent. Did you hear what I told you? I heard what you told me, I'm telling you what the answer is. I'm only telling you now, I'm warning you. The law is only a word what is a right to happen when the law is wrong. It's because it's unnatural, but in this case, it is natural, and a river will drown you if you buck it now. Let her go, and bless her. Somebody had to come for Eddie, sooner or later. You won't have a friend in the world, Eddie. Even those who feel the same will despise you, even those who understand will turn against you. Put it out of your mind, Eddie! Eddie! Number at the Immigration Bureau. Thanks. Yeah, I, I want to report something. Illegal immigrants, two of them. That's right. 441 Saxon Street, Brooklyn. Huh? Ground floor. Huh? No, I'm just around the neighborhood. That's all. Huh? Good ball, Eddie. No, no, I'm too home. Well, take it easy. See you. Where is everybody? I says, where is everybody? I decided to move them upstairs, Miss Lundell. Oh. They're all up there already, huh? Where's Kat? She up there with them? You need to bring pillow. She ain't moving in with them. I am sick and tired of this. I am sick and tired of it. I don't want to hear no more about it. You understand me? Nothing. Oh, take it easy. What are you blowing up about? Who brought him in here? All right, I'm sorry. I wish I'd have dropped dead before I told him to come. In the ground, I wish I was. Don't drop dead. Just keep the mind who brought him here, that's all. I mean, I got a couple of rights here. This is my house, not their house. What do you want from them? I moved them out. What do you want now? I want my respect, huh? So I've moved them out. What more do you want? You've got your house now. You've got your respect. You know, I don't like the way you talk to me, Beatrice. I'm only telling you I've done what you well, want. Well, I don't like it. The way you talk to me and the way you look at me, I mean, this is my house. 
And she's my niece, and I'm responsible for her. So that's why you've done that to her? Done what to her? What you've done to her before. You know what I'm talking about. She goes around shaking all the time. She can't go to sleep. That's what you call responsible for her? The guy ain't right, Beatrice. Did you hear what I said? Look, I'm finished with it. That's all. I'm gonna have it out with you one of these days, Beatrice. There's nothing to have out with you. It's all settled. Now we're gonna be like it never happened. I want my respect, and you know what I'm talking about. What? What I feel like doing in the bed, and what I don't feel like doing, huh? I don't what want- What I say? But you fine. said, you said and I ain't dead. I don't want no more conversations about that, you hear me? I do what I feel like doing, or what I don't feel like doing. Okay. No, don't tell me okay. A wife is supposed to believe the husband. So when I tell you uh, he ain't right, don't tell me he is right. But how do you because know? Because I know. I don't go around making accusations, but he can be the heebie-jeebies the first committed I see. And I don't like you saying I don't want to marry anybody. I broke my back paying a stenography lesson so she could go out and meet a better class of people. Would I do that if I didn't want him to get married? But sometimes you talk to me like I was a crazy man or something. She likes it. Beatrice, she's a baby. How's she gonna know what you she likes? You kept her a baby. You wouldn't let it go out. I told you a hundred times. All right, we'll let it go out. Well, she don't want to go out now. It's too late. Yeah, suppose I told her to go out, huh? They're suppose gonna get married next week, she Eddie. She said that? Eddie, if you want my advice, Go to her and tell her good luck. I think maybe now that you've had it out, you'll learn better. What's the hurry next week? Well, she's been worried about him being picked up. This way, you could start to be a citizen. She loves him, Eddie. Why don't you give her a good word? Because I still think she'd like to be a friend, you know? I mean, like if you told me you'd go to the wedding. She asked you that? I know she'd like it. I'd like to make a party here for her. I mean, there ought to be some kind of send off, you know? Shall I have trouble in all? Let's start it off happy. What do you say? Because in her heart, she still loves you, and I know it. What are you, crying? Go. Why don't you go tell her you're sorry? Well, there, she's coming down. Come on, shake hands with me. No, no, I can't. I can't talk. Katie, give her a break. Your wedding should be happy. No, I'm going for a no, walk. No, don't go. Katie, come on, ask him, honey. No, it's... No, she wants to ask you. Come on, ask him, honey. What are we going to do, hate each other? Come on. I'm going to get married, Eddie, so... If you want to come, the wedding will be on Saturday. Okay. <coughs> I only want to go with the best of you, Katie. Uh, I hope you know that. Okay. No, 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 wait a minute. I, Catherine, I was just telling Beatrice before, huh? I mean, I, I mean, I realized I kept you home too much, maybe, because well, he's the first guy you ever knew, you know? And now you got a job. You might meet some fellas, huh? You get a different idea, see? And you can always come back to him. He's still only kids the both. He's what's the hurry? No, we made it up already. But how could you make up your mind? Because huh? I did it. I don't want nobody. But suppose he gets picked up. That's how we're gonna do it right away. As soon as we get married, he's gonna go right on over and start to be a citizen. I made up my mind, Eddie. I'm sorry. Can I take two more pillowcases for the other guys? Sure, go ahead. But don't let him forget where they came from. What do you mean, other guys? It's two guys who just came over. What do you mean, come on? From Italy. Lopari, the butcher, and his nephew. They come from Bari, they just got them yesterday. I didn't know till Marco and Rodolfo moved up there before. They don't be nice. They could all talk. No, no, wait a minute, Cat. What do you got? No brakes? You put them out with, up there with two other submarines. Why? No, how'd you know that they're, they're not tracking these guys, huh? They come up there fit and they find Marco Rodolfo. Get him out of the house. They've been here so long already. How'd you know what, what enemies the Pari's got, huh? We said let's stab him in the back. Get him out of here. But what do I do? The, the neighborhood's full of rooms. Can't you stand to be a couple of blocks away from him? Get them out of here. Well, maybe tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Do it now. You never mix yourself up with somebody else's family, Captain. I mean, these guys get picked up. The party's liable to blame you or me. We got a whole family on our head. They got to temper that family. Well, always, Would you stop it? arguing with me and get them out of here? You think I'm always trying to fool you or something? What? Don't you think I got no feelings? I never told you nothing in my life that wasn't for your good. I never told you nothing. And look at the way you talk to me, huh? Like I was an enemy. Like I was so Go into the fire escape and get him out over the back fence. Now! Immigration, open up! Go on, hurry! 
What are you looking at? Immigration! Who's that there? Immigration! Open up in there! All right, take it easy! Take it easy! What's going on here? Where are they? Where's who? Oh, come on! Come on! Where are they? Well, who is who? We got nobody here! Dominic? Maybe it's a different apartment. There's only two more floors up there. I'll take the front, you go up the back, and watch your step up there. Okay, right, Charlie. It's just 441, isn't it? That's right. Oh, Jesus, Eddie. What's the matter with you? Oh, my God. What are you accusing me? God, what did you do? What do you want from them? They work, that's all. Their bodies upstairs, they work up here. So what do you want from them? Who are they? He ain't no submarine. He was born in Philadelphia. Side, lady. What do you mean? Pigs come to all right. us. What street was you born? Philadelphia. What do you mean, what street was you born on? Could you tell me what street you were born on? Sure. 111 Union Street. Four blocks from here. Let's go, fellas. You can't! No. Hey! Listen, girlie. If they're all right, they'll get out tomorrow. If they're illegal, they go back where they came from. If you want, you can get yourself a lawyer. But I'm telling you now, you're wasting your money. Let's go now. Andiamo, andiamo, let's go. For God's sake, what do you want from them? They're starving over there, what do you want? Fuck them! Oh, you what, eh? Hey? I'll kill you for that, you son of a bitch! Hey! You stay in here now! You hear me? You stay in here now! I don't forget that, Marco! You hear me, Marco, huh? Hey. Marco! Marco, that's the tax I get for taking the blankets off my bed for you? You're gonna apologize to me, Marco. Marco! All right, Dom, get him in the car now. And what do you want from people that's born in Philadelphia? Side now, lady. Not the one! I ain't Jewish, not the one! Oh, not the one! He stole the fruit from my children! That's what killed my children! Marco! Liparo, he's crazy. Six months I kept him on my own brothers. Liparo! Liparo, for Christ's sake, I took the blankets off my bed for them! Louis. Louis. He's gonna take that back. He's gonna take that back, or I'll kill him. I swear I'll kill him.